Bittersweet her whole life. Yeah, those are way too big lips for me to believe anything you say with them. Get those lips fixed and then we can talk. Aha, Greta talks of Israel as occupied land. Some guy tries to stop her, saying this is a climate protest, not a political one. Uh, let's see here, because I think it is the beginning of the rise of based Greta. Greta has made an order. Let, let's call it the... Let's call it, I don't know, the, the Nuremberg, uh, Greta's Nuremberg moment, uh, or, or Greta's, Greta's, uh, what, what were the, what were the laws that Hitler, you know, brought in at first when he first got elected? He brought some laws, May, maybe we could call them Greta's Third Reich. Uh, rising. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, she has imposed a new uh, a new condition. She she doesn't want any of these Zayoshes to come complain on the mic when she speaks for Gaza. She has set up the condition so that in her movement, it is all pro Gaza and no climate justice under occupation is their slogan. I love it. I love it that I see a future in which me and Greta could be political allies. Uh, Strace Channel says the rage tag. Greta's rage tag, is that what... <laughs> I, I don't know enough about World War II history to know if that would sound okay, but Greta's rage tag. Let's see. Uh, let's see what she has to say. We have not been listening. The people in power have not been listening. I have come here for a climate demonstration. So this guy seems a little retarded. Uh, but also clearly is coming following a comment of Greta about politics and about Gaza. And he says, I've come here for... Let's, let's listen again. I have not been listening. I have come here for a climate demonstration. I've come here for a climate demonstration. This is not a political view. Not your political view. <laughs> and let me guess. You're Jewish. Now, Greta wants this guy out, but she also doesn't want to be covered by, uh, you know, press that would that would say, "Oh, Greta pushed a guy back," or, or Greta t told her her aides to go rough with him. So she says, "Calm down, everyone, calm down." So she wants minimal violence in the process of expelling him. Wow. I mean, it's just missing the Nazi salute, and there it is. No climate justice on occupied land. We have the representative of Che Guevara right here with her at. We have the Beta Cox on soy, the photograph, the gay photographs. We have the feminist, uh, uprising feminist trans feminist and biological female feminist respectively represented the coalition has been formed no climate justice on occupied land meaning you cannot be both bombing gaza and then pose as our friend for climate justice first as people were pointing out in the regular chat earlier uh, the rockets themselves are generating massive pollution. 
Uh, you know, the, those are not green rockets. <laughs> and on top of it, when you destroy all this concrete, uh, it's all rebuilding efforts. Building these things has cost massive amount of CO2 emissions. And rebuilding these things will cost massive amounts too. And so no... Uh, no climate justice on occupied land. That is, you won't have our green check mark as a friend of the environment as long as you oppress human beings. And by saying so, uh, Greta is intimately tying, uh, tying her environmental activism with a strong stance against uh, Israeli behavior. That is absolutely commendable. I, I'm super excited about this. Now, of course, it's all going to be this leftist coalition. And when they say these things, they say it from a feminist perspective. They say it from all the intersectionality you want. So I know that it's not ultimately a true alliance between the likes of me and the likes of Greta. But I'm still super uh, enthusiastic about what that means. Because it means a fraction within the left. It means, uh, it means that the globalist project, as it is perceived, you know, this whole conception of the Jews are strong in finance, controlling uh, the U.S. Tr politics through financial interest, advocating for glob globalism across the world, and sometimes tying with WEF type of interest to control lives under a kind of climate technocracy or COVID technocracy of various sorts. And it's good to see a little star that they basically had risen among them, the likes of the WEF and the likes of the all these globalists who want to use the climate change excuse to eventually impede on people's rights. Uh, I think that they're losing control of their little girl here. And I, for one, I'm super excited at what a free Greta can accomplish with the kind of credit, uh, social credit that she has received from associating with these people and getting their kind of moral acquiescence. She can take it and bring it uh, and use it as leverage now. And the first thing that we see that she's doing in terms of standing for something outside of the climate stuff is to side with Gaza here and to side against Israel. That is super exciting in terms of the shit that it can create within the left and in terms of perhaps... Perhaps she is representative of a new generation rising that cannot be like the boomers kneeling to Israeli terrorists for all military purposes. So I think absolute credit and, uh, and respect to what Greta is doing. She may be veering the left toward a solid anti-Israeli stance of the kind that we haven't seen in generations in the U.S. Based Greta is rising. Um, and we don't know what will happen with it. Uh, people are saying, B says, this Jew hate, vile anti-Semitism and support for terror groups like Hamas in major Western nations and cities is disturbing and utterly disgusting. There would be peace tomorrow if Hamas laid down its arms. If the Israelis laid down their arms, there would be a second holocaust. <laughs> oh man, are you are you kidding me? Is that is that an impersonation of a of an Israeli shell that you're doing here? I will physically remove you now that I'm inspired by Greta. I can't control it. I'm I'm going to ban you. I'm going to ban you. <laughs> A new guy says the JF uh the JF just say based Greta. Uh yes, I say let us welcome based Greta. It is starting. Uh she will be a very interesting piece of the puzzle in the in the fractioning and schism that is born in the left right now. 
with this whole Israeli allegiance that is unsustainable. Because basically, uh, the warmongers have been classically acting through the Republican Party and leaving the anti-war forces of hippies and feminists uh, to, to belong to the Democrat Party. When you remember, all of this Middle Eastern stuff has been started heavily under George Bush, okay? And so the classical Jewish stance was, let's use American military by subverting the uh, Republican Party. And that was kind of working because the Christians of America are a bunch of cocks and they are easily recruitable to a moral uh, kind of a moral quest in the Middle East to fight uh, Islam. Now, uh, there was a very interesting shift lately, which is that the blue octopus, if you will, the blue octopus turned its 17 eyes toward the Democrat Party. And it started seeing the Democrat Party as its main uh, tool of control of American politics. Now, within the Democrat Party, there are strong and deep anti-war forces. And Greta represents totally this kind of peaceful hippie that is naturally belonging to the left, that is coming from families of hippies and musicians and that kind of crap. Uh, and she ultimately, people like Greta will not stay with a side of politics that is constantly warmongering. And in fact, that is more warmongering than Trump at this point. So more, more warmongering than the Republicans. It's just unsustainable. They, they are kind of uncomfortable with Joe Biden. They are kind of willing to accept a four years of that because they really hated Trump. But ultimately, the schism that is born in the left is there to stay. And what we're seeing for the 2024 election, by the way, is that Trump has a massive chance to beat Joe Biden because of what? Because of RFK Jr. And what does RFK Jr. do? He drains votes from Biden. He drains votes from the rationalist, anti-war, secularist, anti-COVID invasions of right part of the Democrat Party. Now, that's a whole big branch <laughs> of the Democrat Party. And ultimately, you may have a Greta feeling more comfortable with an RFK-type branch to the left than a Joe Biden-type branch. Because the left, ultimately, because of its association with Muslims, minorities, anti-violence, anti-oppression, and just anti-militarism and anti-authoritarianism, the left fundamentally doesn't fit with being uh, subservient as a, as, a, as a tool of Israel for military purposes. They really are not into genocide, certainly not as much as the Christians are possibly made to be by by a subversion of Christian speech and a subversion of Christianity within the U.S. So, all in all, Greta uh, doing that kind of stuff, and it will become more and more obvious as we move throughout the year, is setting up the schism for the left that is the critical tool for us to hope defeating Joe Biden for us to hope crashing the left for another four or eight years where we can still have a dream of right-wing victories and a dream of such a, such a disarray on the side of the left that they won't be able to undertake any meaningful political projects. And little creatures of mess and troublemakers and Che Guevara wearing French woman, that is the kind of coalition that can totally mess up the left right now. So let them do it.